<laughs> yeah, so here we go. I was I was studying finance and yeah. work and some other things at Indiana University, Bloomington, Indiana. I went to IU. There's a great school. <laughs> many graduates joining the audience. Um, graduates all over the country. I was in that phase of life where I'm like, you know what the world needs more than this. <laughs> That is a very, it was a sad thing. But anyway, so like, I was at a bar, and they were auditioning for Real World. Yeah. This is going to be like my ticket. This is everybody's dream. So, you are like 22. And so, I auditioned and I got on the road rules. And then, yes! I was in a I was like a decade ago. Were you really on it though? Yeah, I was one of the people. Uh, Abram, Don L. It was Danelle. Remember him? I remember Danelle. Yeah, he was, was really moody, and he would like go moody. have like bratty fits and stuff. Yeah, he would have fits. Yeah, I lived in a little truck with him. <laughs> so that was. That was. So, uh, so you guys still talk or no? Oh, like, man, Donnell, Donnell had a rough go. I think. Uh -huh. I think like he was in jail like moments after. <laughs> And I'm not even kidding. I think that's what happened. I know. So, but he's fine. You were just like, you were just like, uh, studying finance in a bar, yeah. audition. Yeah. That's not an easy process. There are thousands of people who audition. I mean, it's an easy process. It's not like, I, I, the, the odds were not for me to get it. I mean, the process is just like, hey, find some, you, you, you gotta get people in like that phase of life where you're like, yeah, me, everybody needs to see. Like, did you have to make a job? Did you have to make like a tape of you at home being crazy? Yeah, I did so much. It was so douchey. Well, so. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't thought about this process. I think hilarious. I was like, it's I think hilarious. when I started like acting, I, 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 I felt I needed to distance myself from that. Like, sure, but, but. Yeah, I made a video, <laughs> and I think I videotaped some of me like it's interacting with like an average street vendor, or like, <laughs> you know, like, things like that. So then I jumped like, off like just a, like us. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> like, like, uniformity and but um, what's your like? There's always like a character that they're looking yeah. for. Well, I was definitely like the guy who was gonna calm all the shit down. Okay, so you got you got to be normal guy in reality. I was That's a good role. Guy. Oh yeah, and I knew, I knew, and God bless the other people on these shows. Like I do not mock that. These people like really live like there's not a camera on them, and I knew there was a camera on them. <laughs> so I'm like, thank God, because <laughs> you know nobody remembers me. Were you that. there? Let me just ask you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Were you were you there to make friends? <laughs> was I there to make friends? I mean, I doesn't like, everybody have to say one time on the show I'm not here to make friends or was <laughs> actually there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I was like I was quoted and this is something I've had to work on since then. Is like my big tagline was I just want people to like me. <laughs> if that doesn't, that doesn't get in my psyche. You know, nothing else will. Uh, were, you, were you hoping to get into acting? Or you just no, wanted to see more of it? I was from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and then St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah, wow. great towns. Wow. Like, a lot of graduates in that town. I just decided to keep putting and thinking about drink. Okay. Uh, but um, there was no sense of like, this, like entertainment is an option. So I think it was me oh, expressing nice. some, I need something else, but it certainly wasn't necessarily going to be acting, and it didn't, oh, I didn't wow. want to do like reality TV for the rest of my life, which a lot of people do after that. Yeah, that's a viable career for me. Well, out. yeah. <laughs> of some very, well, uh, yes, a, couple of people, a couple of people in your season went and got, did Playboy spreads right after. That's right. So there was other, wow. uh, there were options that opened up that made it happier. Wow. Yeah, it was a lot. How did, so wow. how did you make that jump, and when did you realize, like, I did this, TV likes me, yeah, that wasn't really it. It was like, it was kind of like, okay, I tried something and it worked. That goes down. Yeah, that goes um, I tried something that worked. I don't want to do finance. I was like so pumped for full of Ritalin just to like get through finals and finals. Oh, there were people who were just like great at all that stuff. I'm like, I can't compete in the world of business. I think I might have like a, like a latent want to do this kind of thing. So it took a couple of like depressed uh -huh. years in St. Louis. In my mom's basement. Post road rules. Post road rules. Depressed, just like bloated, drinking. It was terrible. And then, uh, 
and then, then I was just like, I gotta go give it a try. You know, there's, I, I, I had something in my head. My grandpa like wanted to be an actor, and his buddy went and did it, and he like became famous in L.A. Oh. Back then, I thought that was like a better way. Now I'm like, well, then my grandpa was happy too. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, like, but he never did it, so I was kind of like, I'm like, I should do it. But you didn't ride the road rules wave. You stopped, hung out in the trough for a while. Yeah, long, yeah. And then moved to LA when there's yeah. no people on you. That's right. And you still. So how did that happen then? How did? How was? Because that's the story that usually ends in sadness. Yeah. There's still time, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Five seasons, babe. Good. Look at Brad Trees. You're gonna hit 100 episodes. It's gonna. You don't have to worry about anything the rest of your life. Yeah. What's, so what was that like? What were your first couple of years uh, in LA like? Mm -hmm. um, I was like, I had like the business <laughs> part of my brain, which most of the actors did not there. I'm like, must get agent, must. It's like a numbers game. Mm -hmm. Don't lose focus. I was very focused. Because of the plans. High on Goodwin in the hood. And yeah, it was just like, yeah, right. I was just auditioning constantly. Well, so you, I, I mentioned in your intro a lot of yeah. shows you did, which is it's an impressive resume, yeah. but it also, those are probably not that long of a shoot. And so it was, I was really, I heard those, I'm like, yeah. I was no, there for like a half hour. I mean, <laughs> It's an incredible IMDb page, but there's also quite a lot of downtime between those. Oh like my how, god, yeah. How was your confidence level when you do one appearance, then two appearances, then three? Like, at what point did you feel like this is working? I have. Well, you kind of get. It's, it's a, they say it's like it's like a, a, a fast yes and a slow no. You know, like it, you can you kind of know when you're like something that they it's easy to book. Uh -huh. It's not necessarily because you're talented. It's just kind of like oh they fit a certain. What was your type? It seems like a lot of medical shit. Like, what was your. It's like. The guy who wants people to like him. Um, like, no, so, like, 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 you know, romantic dude. I, I, it's just. I'm just. Oh, we gotta say more about that. No, it sounds. <laughs> sometimes, like, the romantic partner. Uh -huh. Sometimes, like, the dicky, like, lawyer dude. Okay. With a ton of money. You know, just like, it fits in a lot of things. But that's not. I mean, that's, like, yeah. that's good. That's good to have. That's great. I mean, I'm, on, I'm happy to be working. <laughs> And and so you're 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 running along. So then yeah. Grim comes along. Yes, it does. Was this the first pilot you were in? No, I've done, I did a couple of pilots prior to that. Uh, pilot season is miserable. I, does anybody like understand? Does anybody know what that is? So like you have like one. What's yeah. that? That's a local reference. Oh, okay. uh, god. <laughs> yes. The point. No, he's talking about. Uh, so and and you, you it's, it's like a time of year. It's like a month and a half long in L.A. where they're making new TV shows and like. It's, 5% of those ever get picked up a series and like no percent of those ever turn in anything. So every actor is like waiting for the next pilot season. So if you like don't get one, you have like 11 months. Uh, yeah, so it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's hard on the... So when Grim came along, you were assuming small percent chance of... Uh, yeah, I knew I was up. like in the mix for things and whatever, but you never know. Like you never know. Well, you also, actually, like, shortly before Grimm, were uh, being considered for the role of Superman. Yeah. I've read. Yeah. Wow. 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 You know, uh, so like I've like uh, you know I got the clip. Super boyish is also something I would watch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, there you go. There you go. Uh, yeah. So, so you guys you get you you get okay. Grim. Uh, yes. so we had you had your friend Silas on last month. What a lovely guy. Lovely guy. And he, one of the things he said was that uh, nobody on the set thought this would work. Yeah, well, he's like a pet. He's like the, my curmudgeon wonderful friend. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and he's like a million yeah, things. Totally he awesome. like, has, knows the grind yeah. of Hollywood. Yeah, I mean, he's like, not like, mm -hmm. he, it, he knew things I didn't know. Right. You know, I was so just you, like, so you were like, great. Yeah. Oh, okay. But, uh, was that you read, you read the first script and you were like, this is the thing. No, no, no I was like, like, I, I just, <laughs> I knew NBC needed stuff, and they were casting a lot of things. So, so I'm like, oh, there's a good chance this can go. <laughs> when you're reading Business. scripts, yeah, 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 totally yeah, too. Like when you're reading scripts, like it can be a great script, but like that doesn't mean anything that it'll go or we get right. a job. It's like it takes a lot of luck for that to happen. So, I was just like looking to the next meal, kind of. Thing. And 
Yeah. What was what was the moment then? Because now you're just about to hit your fifth season. Yeah, we're filming our 100th episode right you're now. We're filming our 100th episode. Yeah. Which is, yeah, it's incredible. It's great. Thank you. Also, I'm sorry, we're going to do with it, but thank you. Like an important magical number in TV shows. Yeah, more so in the past. That's kind of changed a bit. Yeah, we've been syndicated already. Well, at what point, though, in the show did it... Did it dawn on you that this was a success? When did you know that like, this is working? Oh god, man, I was so buried. Like, my days were so long and I was like so nervous all the time that I didn't What was the nervousness really... about? What was making you nervous? Well, you get a lot of... It's, it's definitely made by committee. And I was... I'd never been like the lead of the show on a show that went. And suddenly now, like, there's a lot of eyes on me, a lot of... Did you opinion. feel a lot of that pressure? Oh my god. Like, I lost several... Years of life. And I age like a wartime president. <laughs> that first year of the show. It was intense. <laughs> but so you're like a gray haired super boy. <laughs> you got me. That is what I am. Uh, I think I think like a couple years in when I could like actually kind of realize what was happening. I, I realized that oh wow this is this is working and we're gonna keep going. What was the what was the pressure about? What was it like? Do I have like was it I have to do better or like I hope everyone else gets like, lucky? Yeah, I know. I think there was just like a sense of like oh it's a team like millions of people like yeah. It, I I was just putting way too much pressure on myself. And there's a huge workload for the lead of a one hour drama. Whatever, it's like boo boo yeah. actor. But. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Great life, I'm fine. Yeah, thanks. But, uh, but in the beginning, it was just, you know, man. I was just I was open to hearing everybody's critique. Um, everybody had like things they wanted me to do, like every department. So it, was, it was tough. I don't want to interrupt you, but sure. your your hair is making an S on yeah, the forehead. Yeah, let's, let's just let it be. into it. I don't yeah, know. Right. Thank you. Uh, so. <laughs> And so you were like, I developed well, a small muscle. <laughs> <laughs> so were you like, I'm gonna act harder? I'm gonna act yeah, acting harder doesn't work well. Yeah, so what, yeah, what can you do <laughs> when you put you, that can't, on you can't act harder. You just have to chill out. Uh, are you? So you're relaxed now, though. Now you're able to just have a good I'm time. Yeah. I mean, it's what you're saying. Very hard. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only for sleep. Only for sleep. You like how Portland has been very good for you. You yes. just uh, yeah. you know, guys know. You know where to find the good stuff. You are. <laughs> you are spending a lot of time in Portland now. We're yeah, yeah. pro the show. How is this versus the grind in Hollywood? Oh, this town trumps Hollywood. I mean, this is the greatest yeah. town. Yeah. Everybody involved in the show is just so... We are so grateful that this, this circus took us here. Yeah. As opposed to, you know, so many other places. It, it, the show makes us look like uh, a lot more violent than we are. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that, that's it. I am the worst cop in the entire <laughs> right Everybody on investigate ties. Mm. <laughs> one, one to one correspondence. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> a lot of a lot of interviews that I've seen with you sort of treat you like you're the character, yeah, yeah, and yeah. not like you're an actor playing yeah. this character. So. But then you, you just you bring it on yourself when you say things like that. How do you, like... <laughs> oh, I say, oh, it's yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, so do you... Yeah. When people treat you like that, because obviously you've got some of the, the, the Beatles scream from an audience now. But, uh, and do you, like, how, how does that feel, like, when people treat you now that you've done this 100 episodes, like, you're part of the character, do you feel like it's become more of you than a normal... Yeah, like, this is a, it's like, when you're on a show that lasts this long, like, little things happen to your identity that you wouldn't think about, such as like, I can't, like any grown man here can just choose a new haircut. <laughs> I, I, it's like a process, and so like, I'm like locked into what happened in 2011. And I like, struggle all the time, you know, it's, it's like, uh, it's a he had his mustache, he his mustache. In a sense. It's a good thing you didn't start off with a Skrillex or something. You were so right about that. You were so right about that. But if he wanted to now, you don't have that option. No, yeah, it's just like, it, 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 there are a lot of pieces to that puzzle. Uh, but do you have somebody from NBC who's like, Measuring the stubble every day and making sure it's the right circling my body fat. Um, not, <laughs> not as, is that not as much. You? No, it's just kind of like a. Uh, there are eyes on you. Like, 
Dude, there's like continuity people and they're doing a job and it's like, well, last episode you had this haircut. Like, yeah, but like every episode ends right at the end and the start of the next step. So like, <laughs> you know, you just have to say that. You just have to say that. It's like, it's going to be this length. What is your, so what's your... Uh, like, I'm going to have a rebellion at the end of this where it's just going to be a beard. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a child beard. Yeah. 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 That's a, that's a, uh, yeah. that's that's a rebellion. Like Britney shaving her head. Yeah, yeah. 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 Is, that, is that something you're having now? You've been doing this and you get people like, you know you are. Are you like empathizing with Britney now? You really. Oh gosh, I, I mean, Britney's. I, I don't even know how to answer that. Okay. She's a close friend. Is, she, yeah. so she, yeah. is Britney okay? Yeah, she's great. I knew she had a rough go there for a while. No, she was on The Voice or something. Then she was go. Okay, she's made it out. Yeah. So, what, so, so you're... I didn't know what happened. I remember like a very dark time. <laughs> do you... So what do you do now? You, like, you've got the... This show yeah. is going great. Continuing yeah. on in perpetuity. But are you now pigeonholed into this character for other jobs? Yeah, are you going to be seen know, as boyish cop forever? I don't know. Like, that's to be seen. I don't think so. I think one of the joys of our show is, like, it's big enough to keep going, but not, not, I'm not, like, hugely famous, so I won't get pigeonholed. I just did, like, a movie this summer where I was, like, a completely different character. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah are you, are you, is that something you want to do more movies? Is that where you're going? Yeah, I mean, uh, everybody wants to do that. I just yeah, I do more movies. That's true. <laughs> I can, I, everybody wants to do more movies. Yeah. But I gotta have a mustache, so my rebellion is <laughs> lived through this mustache. That's you're, you're, your dream it, it, career is just getting to choose your own hair. Kind of. <laughs> what place? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, we are all so happy to have, especially because like, our hometown show. You're a hometown hero, obviously. Oh, yes. And we're excited for the show. And thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it.